what's up, man? Get over here to my first stop. Take a truck off the vehicle. I mean, off the trailer. Put my ramps up. Take it across the street. Just to look at my paperwork. And that was the wrong truck. up and then I took it off is I called for that additional vehicle so I can get something else. And that's what we did baby so all this one pick one drop I'm headed over to classic Chevrolet on the Southwest Freeway man I'm out so they made it over here to Classic Chevrolet we drop all four of these sheets this outside where y'all pick up man I think I got two or three loads out that way. So I'm gonna try to hurry up and get those done, man. Get this day over with. So we can move on to something else. To some more money. So yeah. hold on, man. Issues with the, with the straps. But yeah, we're gonna move on. And try to get this day over with, man. It's supposed to be some raining today. So I don't know how all that's gonna look. But it is what it is, man. I know I work outside, so I gotta adapt to the element to keep it pushing. Man, still if you think about getting into trucking, man, I don't think I don't think the market really doing nothing different. The only thing that's getting better with prices right now is probably buying a truck. Then it's like, do you want to buy a truck in a market that ain't really moving a lot of freight? Or the pricing on the freight isn't great. So, so everybody want to take all the money. You know, none of them people are going to work. I was listening to a guy yesterday. Um, he was talking about a load that he had got. Low, low in like three to 400 miles. And he said it paid like $3,800. But he didn't know that till he got to the pickup place and the guy that was um, actually loading him up is actually 
the guy who brokered the load, who sent the load to the broker. He ended up talking to him. Old buddy started getting all the freight directly to him. The load paid him on that one load, paid him like twenty. $2,400 and low is paying $3,800. You know what I'm saying, man? Focus on the snake. Too much money, man. There's no way if you're a broker, you should be making what? Uh, about 35-ish, 40% of the load. And they don't understand that, man. All they want to do, they want to be greedy. They want you to still take the load and not make no money off of it. But then be calling your phone constantly harassing you about the load that's not paying no money so what you want me to do but that's part of the truck that's part of trucking man so let me offload this um hurry up get to the south man i almost raised this up i would have hit the hit the ceiling of this trailblazer if i would have raised it up gotta pay attention out here let me go. This is what I was talking about. If I to raise that up, look how much I need to raise it up. If I to raise that up, I ought to hit that. Automatic total. Roof damage, they gonna total the vehicle every time. I mean, not roof, yeah, roof. Man. Guy, just a beeping over here, bro. Oh my gosh. Cushion. But uh this wasn't this a night drive right here. I doubt old buddy here this early. If he here, it is what it is. He can take the car. But if not, I'ma just put the keys on his desk and keep it moving. Ain't no use to me holding my day up. Lift this boot up. Yep. Unstrap this one. Yeah, it's time to start offload. When I get to places and I offload, man, I be trying to make it like 15, 15 minutes. I only be having three to five vehicles, so it shouldn't take that long. That's why I get bothered when I get places. And man, some of these people act like they don't want to sign the paper. They moving at their own speed, man. Listen, I got a job to do just like you do. If not, just let me STI so I can go. Then came back to the rail yard over here picking up, man. I got I got three going to the north side, man, but it's two drops. I hate when they do that, but uh, I guess it is what it is. Um, one of them going to somewhere where they gave me the wrong address initially, and I'm glad they did go back and put it on the paperwork. Like, it's not on the actual app. But I'm glad I went and got the paperwork because sometimes I never go get it. I just, basically, I just print my own stuff out. And so, yeah, that's what type of situation we in, man. So it is what it is, man. We're gonna get it over there. About to load these up right quick. Then we're going to go and get up out of here, man. Uh, let me throw this on here, man. What up, what up, man? Back over here at Pearland Rail Yard, man. I got one on the trailer. I think y'all can see that explore. Then I gotta go down here and pick up a Bronco. It's the last vehicle on the aisle, basically. So we're gonna grab these three, head to the north side. Um, glad I went and got my paperwork because simple fact is she wrote an address on there. And I'm like, Man, what if I didn't go get the paperwork? So, cause every once from time to time, I just print the paperwork out. It'd be more convenient for me when I'm at the yard. So, and I rarely get the paperwork and rush and get it when it's coming from the south side because you don't need the paperwork to get out the gate over here. So, glad I went and got the paperwork. Glad she wrote the address on there. So, hey, it is what it is. Cause when I overhead it, when I overlooked the other address i wouldn't have been able to fit over there it was just way too small so here we go man we got <coughs> got this bronco back here see it ain't got no wheels on it like this one 
don't have a little, ain't no lift or nothing on there. It's just a regular. And man, we got one. I think we got a, uh, I think I got an F-150. And then we up out of here, man. We headed to the north side, get this stuff off of us. So, let me hurry up and check this booger. You ain't seen one of these. The new little Broncos. Fifty-one thousand. That's just what they charging, but eventually this price gonna go up. So check the top. We out. color you don't really see on the chart. It's a little kind of like a, I don't know, it looks like a darker Nardo gray on there. But walking over here to get this truck, it's my last vehicle. And I, the safety lady came over to me. She, her communication is bad. First of all, she don't know how to talk to you. And then second off, uh, she texted me the other day about some paperwork. And I text her back and I said, I can't find that paperwork in my, when I put it in the computer. And I didn't hear nothing from her. And she just asked me about the paperwork and I said, I text you back. She was like, oh, I didn't see it. <laughs> Man, stop. So I think. I think you're wrong. <laughs> it's sitting right here. Ninety-seven fifty-six. Ninety-seven fifty-six. It's lower. And they're like swim well. actually a scratch kind of glad they circled it because I just thought they sometimes they be writing stuff on the vehicles so who knows but glad they did that man so we ain't got no issues when I get over here to deliver because I ain't never I've never delivered to the place I'm going to and I don't know how their reaction is on damages so it's on there it's in there and we ain't got no problems on our end because we covering our behind. So let's go throw this on the trailer, man, and get on up out of here, baby. It is hot. It's like hot every day. Hot. Don't move to Houston. This is another reason you shouldn't move to Houston, man, how hot it is. I think I was working at about three o'clock. Uh, I got to my first stop at 4.08 and I was sweating, unloading the cars, sweating. And then I put this on, cause I don't want that tan line when I hit this vacation up. So it is what it is. Sweat some of this crap off me anyway, man. I got a little sweat. Drop this rent, hold this truck, and it's going. So, <clears throat> I get over here to my first stop. I had a two stop. Y'all seen me load this up, man. Get over here to my first stop. Take a truck off the vehicle. I mean, off the trailer. Put my ramps up. Take it across the street. Just to look at my paperwork. And that was the wrong truck. 
So I called back over there. She laughing at me. This lady don't chill. I don't even know this lady. But that ain't the worst part about it. This is the worst part about it right now. Man, it's raining. And it just stopped pouring down raining. So, what I'm trying to see. We're going to have to move, though. I'm not about to be standing in the water. So, no one's coming in and out of this parking lot. So I parked over here. The business is over there. It's that, it's two buildings right there. It's that second building to the left. And so, uh, I don't know what I was thinking, man. I think I was just trying to load the vehicles up and messed up. And I loaded them backwards. So now I'm in this predicament now. So now I gotta fix it right quick, man. So we are gonna go back here, offload this stuff. I'm trying to see flooded everywhere in the parking lot or is it just right here where I'm at? Hey, I need to take this shade out the window because it ain't no sun. And look, we just gonna get to higher ground on the, in the parking lot, baby. That's what we gonna do. So, I can't believe I did this. I'm upset because I could have been gone. I probably could have been at the other dealership by now dropping off then head back over there to pick up my last load, or it may be my last load. I may keep working, man. I ain't got nothing else to do. I was gonna go do some other stuff, but old buddy said they canceled the load. So, like I say, I just make some more money out here. So, let me offload this, man. This sucks. I need to go buy some water shoes. I didn't have like three attempts to go buy some. I can't find none that I like or some good ones. And I really don't want to buy none off of Amazon. Everybody tell me those is trash. But if I'm not wearing them that much, I don't know, we are gonna see. I may buy some. Cause I want some water, I don't want no boots. I don't want no, none of that. I want some tennis shoes. Man, like, as soon as I open the door, it start raining hard again. <sighs> Welcome to car hauling, man. It's part of it. This is part of it. So I need this truck. Not that truck, not the F-150. I need this one. So let me go ahead and unstrap this and get on, man. All right. Now we'll take it on over to the other spot and get on about our business. 